The Monsignor Warner Activity Center played host to the D1-4 Sub-District Championship last Thursday. The matchup featured the visiting Norport Catholic Knights and the hosts, Cedar Catholic Trojans. The Knights needed the win to keep their season alive. It was a slow start for both teams in the first. The Knights got out to a 2-0 lead before a couple of breakaway layups by Laney Connell. The low-scoring quarter would end on a drive-in score by Addison Walter at the buzzer. The Trojans led 11-9. McKenna Naker kept her impressive game going. She buried her second three of the game to start the second frame. Katie Jones added on a three of her own as the Trojans took a 29-20 lead at the half. The third quarter was controlled by Naker. She scored every point for the Trojans until the last seconds when Caitlin Arns nailed a free throw to give the Trojans the 37-25 advantage. The final quarter was again controlled by the Trojans as Naker hit another three and a nice backdoor cut for two off a pass from Laney Connell. Naker finished the game with 32 points as the Trojans got the win 49-33. Naker talked on how the team was able to step up and play together. Um, my teammates played a huge role in that. They were able to set screens and get me open and then also just having patience on offense and moving the ball I think helped as well. Coach Craig Wortman stated that playing the Knights earlier this season gave them a good idea of what to expect and how to prepare. A couple things. I mean, we wanted to put a little bit more ball pressure on them, um, try to do a little bit more half court trapping, um, which we tried tonight just to keep them off balance, which worked pretty good for us. So those those things are kind of things that we wanted to do. But really, in the end, we were just trying to make sure that we could keep them off the boards, work on our stuff, work on you know our defense, um, those types of things that we can control right now. You know, I think that it, as as much as we can play together, the team defense is going to be key. That's always always something towards the end of the season which we have to be able to do, and that's going to be key. Can we keep working through those um, one by one um, defensive stops and, and defensive rebounds? If we can do that stuff, then we've got a chance. The Trojans head into the district finals fourth in power points. They will fa face Niobrara Verdigree February 24th at 7 p.m. in the Monsignor Warner Activity Center with the winner advancing to the state tournament March 1st through the 4th in Lincoln. Reporting for the Cedar County News, I'm Lucas Wortman.